Welcome back to Fallout 76. Listen to this gun. Did you hear that thing? That kind of weapon was that? Is that that sentry bot down there, maybe? Maybe that's... Ooh, a legendary charred feral ghoul down the hill there. It's just one star, though, right? Okay. I think I got a hit off on it, so maybe I'll get some credit if this thing dies. I mean, it's legendary. Might be worth uh, picking on a little bit. I don't know if I killed it or not. This one's coming up here to say hi. Okay, we got him. Uh, I guess the legendary one's dead over here, I guess. I guess. Let's go take a look. See if he has anything good on him. Look at that. That fire. Oh, oh, and it disappeared. What the hell, man? Oh, for crying out loud. There's a dead robot over here. Look at this thing. White Spring Construction Protectron. Well, who knows where that legendary ghoul went. I knew that was too easy. It's cool that it left a scorch mark on the ground there, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Good grief. This game, I tell you. I mean, after the weirdness in the last episode, where looks like it might still be doing the same thing. We're, we're supposed to be looking for Crane's treasure here in Golly Mine, but for reasons unknown, it is acting like this little door here to the deep is where I'm going to find Crane's treasure. And if you watched the last episode, then you know there's no Crane's treasure in there. A couple of interesting things showing up on my compass, though. Check this out. Uh, on my compass, the center of my compass, it looks like there is a, a raider camp that we have never discovered before in this direction. And it looks like there's also a cave in this uh, direction as well that's not on our map. So two two new things here. I'm not sure which one of them is closer. So we're going to walk forward here and see which one we come across first. And uh, we'll probably take a look at both of them. One of the reasons that we're taking this long walk across the um, countryside here is uh, to find places like this, new places. So we're going to see which one of these we come across first. Not sure which one that'll be. And once again, it is looking like another beautiful day here in Appalachia. Okay, the cave is over here. Let's see, which one of these am I going to come up on first? Kind of splitting the dis the difference here. See which one of them appears first. Hmm. Cave is in that direction. The camp is in that direction. Can I see either one of them from here? Look at this view up here. Top of this rock. Look at this. This is pretty cool, right? Looking down. What is that? New Gad down there, I think, in that pond. Yeah, New Gad and... What used to be Lake Charleston, maybe, is what this was before the dam busted. Uh, that smoke down there. Eh, maybe there is not smoke down there. But I think that's probably maybe the raider camp. This little, these, this business right here, maybe, is the raider camp. And then as far as where the cave is, I don't know where it is. It's down there somewhere. Um... So still not sure which one of these I'm going to get to first. Maybe the raider camp first. Yeah, somebody's down there playing the banjo. Those raiders love their banjo playing, apparently. It sounds like somebody's banging on something. This is kind of starting to look like a not a very good location for a camp. Because I'm able to just come in from <laughs> directly above them. <laughs> look at this. All right, let's start cleaning this stinking camp out. Hate these, these blood eagles hate everything, man. Look at this. Well, I mean, I'll give them some credit. At least they've got a kind of roof over top of them so that I can't just sit here and shoot at them from up here. The pigsty we've found. This is new. Found the pigsty, and it's pretty big. A level four blood eagle wretch. <laughs> Stop playing the banjo. Well, I mean, I could just 
probably just plop down there. Um, but instead, what I'm worried is that I'm going to jump off this mountain and then this cave I'm looking for is going to be above me and I'm not going to be able to get back up to it. So, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm thinking the cave is going to be down there somewhere, huh? Maybe right beneath me, even. Might be right down there. Might be right where we see this thing. Okay, these things are looking like they might be even on the same level, so... I'm thinking of dropping down here. Switching over to, um... To a melee weapon. And, uh... Just, um, fighting these dudes. Mano a mano. That's what I'm thinking about. Instead of wasting ammo on them. Something's close. Oh gosh, if I got myself behind this fence. Here we go. Hey, how's it going? It hurts so oh gosh. Good. Well, she took more than one hit, which surprised me. Figured one hit would be it. Here's a plan that we already know, unfortunately. Floater Flamer Pus Sack. Gives us leather and oil. But when I scrap You're all my so junk... Dead. It doesn't get scrapped, so it must be worth something. Here's that pipe pistol that we picked up a while back. Mr. Handy Fuel. Eh, I don't need that. Okay, so we got somebody walking around out here. Being all macho. My mama. <laughs> That's so funny I said maybe being all macho right when he says he misses his mama. Uh, Salisbury steak. Delicious, delicious. What is this? Canned dog food? Mm-mm-mm. Sign me right up. Thank you. Ooh, some cram in there. Is there a bobblehead right there? A charisma bobblehead. Okay. It's kind of cool. Gain plus two charisma for an hour. When their backs are turned, I swear I'll do it. When their backs are turned? That's a great idea. <laughs> did he just say, look, he's just pointing that gun around the corner there. I hit him and he did nothing. Uh, I don't want any of his crap. Um, I don't want any of that stuff. These guys are so low level. Their stuff is just garbage. Quantum Bear. So, <laughs> we have this quest left over from the main game. Uh, no, not social. Uh, challenges here. These, um, collecting things for the possum collector. I'm supposed to collect these different bears. And, uh, one of them I'm supposed to collect is Quantum Bear right there, man. Let's, let's uh, acquire this bear. There we go. I'm 17 of 35. <laughs> I never get to have any fun, says this guy. Um, I feel like I came down these stairs real quick. Did I look around in here? Yeah, we looked around in here a little bit. I don't think I looked in this duffel bag, though. Ooh, 45 rounds. Exactly what I wanted. This must be one that I killed from up above. Somebody walking around down there. I'm not even going to waste my ammo on these guys. I'm just going to use my good old... Gosh, what is this thing? This is... um. This weapon I'm using is my good old Blade of Bestet, which is something you get pretty early in the game, although I've since, so you know, um, I put those remade it at higher levels. It's level 45. Motorcycle over here. This is kind of cool. This place. Fucking ate everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me put you out of your misery. Um, to tell you the truth... Use my fists. My leg! <laughs> my leg! <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. I just killed somebody with my fists. I had a, I believe I had a request to use my fists against low-level enemies. It's not a super mutant, but there ain't nothing about here. <laughs> nothing nowhere. It's all shit. Yeah. Hey, dude, how's it going? Oh, man, he looks so sad, I kind of hate to hit him. <laughs> I mean, my gosh, man. I'm killing people with my fists. Yeesh. Don't have to worry about the durability of my weapon. I just come in with fists. I mean, they're level four, for crying out loud. I mean, they don't get much wimpier than that. It's pretty wimpy. What do we got down here? We've got a Protectron... Ooh, is that a note? Cure for line steppers? 
So I straight up hate it when new Blood Eagle recruits show up and try to bully their way up the ranks. Schroeder boy thinks he can just stroll in and bypass the night watch time slot and take my morning watching hours. Well, he's got another thing coming. First thing I'll do when I get his, this Protectron working is to program it to crush his head like a grape. That'll send a clear message to any new habitual line steppers. Okay then, this guy's pretty upset. Working on that Protectron there. Well, I guess that's a project he's never going to finish now. At least until he responds. Then he can get back to work. Anybody over here? Little cooking station. I don't recall whether I've picked up any more animal meat. Well, apparently I have. Uh, meat. Crispy cave cricket. God, that sounds disgusting. God, freaking cave cricket. All these brain fungus that I picked up a while back. Turn it into soup. All those starlight berries, turn it into cobbler. Why not? What else am I going to do with it? Just going to go bad in my inventory. At least this way, maybe I'll eat it. Um, here is a blood eagle wretch. Here's somebody's head and another head and another head. And they've got a little, little cage over here. I guess this is their jail. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay. Now let's go over and see if we can't find this cave that we saw on the map as well. According to my map, according to my compass, it's right over here. Oh, apparently there's a trap here. Oh, look, the tripwire is already tripped, I guess. A big old explosion over there. Let's check out this cave, man. Ooh, is this it? The deep. Oh, I've discovered the deep. So this is the entrance to the deep. That thing we found last time up here that's unmarked was also the deep. Let's go in this way. Hmm. So th maybe this is where um, like all that water was that where I died, remember? Let's check it out, man. I might want to get a weapon out this time, though. I like to um, loot these things. Kind of like it's kind of like leaving breadcrumbs. That way, if I see something and I see it's already been looted, I know I've already been there. Interesting. Huh. Look at this. Here's a. A diver with a note that says President's Eyes Only. And there's that water from before that I couldn't get through. I'm a little dude's thirsty. Hold everything. Let me take some drinks. There we go. Hmm. And I really don't think I want to go in that water, and I'm pretty sure I know where it goes anyway. A diver. That's new. That's that's a new skin. I don't remember seeing anybody wearing that in the previous game before Wastelanders. President's eyes only. Well, I'm the president. I'm going to read it. I have clearance. This here is James Addison of the White Spring Resort staff. I tell you, they never thought I would tell him the truth, but I found it. I swear by all that is holy, I found it. I knew it was there all along. <laughs> started with the rumbling. We had some minor earthquakes. You heard me right. Earthquakes of all things in this neck of the woods. I knew something wasn't right. I was going to prove them all wrong. All the other people at the resort just laughing at me. Well, who's laughing now? I just discovered a fucking underground spaceship and the rocket fuel leaking off of that thing. Hell, it's making even the rocks glow. I gotta tell the president. I gotta tell the president if it's the last thing I do. I'll be an American hero. Get the Medal of Honor, I bet. All right, enough talking. Time to swim back home to glory and to wiping that damn smirk off Robbie's face. James out. Hmm, Robbie, huh? I don't know if I remember a Robbie. 
But um, he saw the underground spaceship. I'm not gonna. I'm just sticking my head in here, really. Don't plan on going very far. There we go. That's gonna gonna take us back out to where we were before to the underground spaceship. I hadn't considered that it was a spaceship. I don't, I don't think it's a spaceship. I think he just thought it was a spaceship, but I don't know. It could be a spaceship. Who's, who knows? Uh, I'm still hearing a cave cricket. I don't know where it is, though, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's cool that we found that body in that note, though, so a little bit of story stuff there. Somebody named Robbie at White Spring was making fun of him. I don't remember from our previous playthrough whether we ever got any indication that there was a Robbie at White Spring. Okay, cool. Two new locations there. That was exciting. Okay, so we're going to keep heading in this direction because trying to get up here to Gully Mine. That's where we're trying to go. We're going to have to go through Summersville to get there. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. And like I said, it looks like a nice day for a walk. Keep walking this way. We're going to come by a power substation. It's all right. There's going to be a body of water that we're going to need to cross. I'm wondering if I should just go this way to cross it. Now, we'll go up here. We'll cross it here. Let me put a marker here. And um, we'll cross the water up here by the power substation. town of Summersville here. Quiet today. Okay, here's the bridge we're going to cross to get across this water. I don't think this body of water is really big enough to really care about using a bridge, but there's a bridge right here, so why not? Yeah, this is more like a creek, really. I'm not going to waste my bullets on this guy. Look at them all. <laughs> what was that now? Oh, the propaganda flyer there that we've seen many times before. Okay, so now we're going to take this road up, and uh, we'll just follow the river, take the road up here, and then at some point we'll cut over here. Or maybe I'll just cut right through here. You know what? Screw it. Don't take the road. Let's just go straight this way if I can. Hell with it. We don't need to follow the road. We'll just make a beeline for this place. We're in the forest area again, I think. And so the enemy should be a lot less challenging here. Let's run. I'm excited to get there, man. Let's get there. Let's check this place out. Here by what is this canal lookout? I think is what it is on the map. 
East Canal Lookout. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we've already gone up in a couple of these, wondering if it would show us any new locations. And none of them have yet. But, um... Let's try it. Golly, how many times did I have to shoot the... I feel like I shot each one of those guys twice. I don't think we've been up here, have we? Can't keep track, man. Uh, some diluted Radex here next to a baby bottle. That's not disturbing at all. I don't know. Let's look in the footlocker. Maybe there's something interesting inside of it. I hear something walking around down there. At least I think I do. Don't know what that is. Well, not telling us anything new. It's cool looking up there. Is that just a storm up the hill there, I guess? No, I'm looking. Somebody... Oh, wow. Somebody nuked White Spring. All right, let's get down from here. Cap stash. Might as well take it. Let's continue on our way here. I do hear footsteps behind me. Ooh, diseased dude. Oh, damn it. Hey, of course I got a disease from him. Rad worms. That's not good. Oh well, I ain't worried about it. this here? A little tent. Hmm. A little campsite here. Kind of nice. I'll take those rounds. Yeah, this is kind of a nice little place here. Get this. Got some uh, ammo here. I mean, that's not disturbing at all. <laughs> Somebody sitting up here on this mountain. They got a ham radio. They got ammo sitting here. Uh, all we need is like a pair of binoculars to just kind of fill it out. But um, I don't know what somebody was looking for up here. But uh, somebody was definitely camping out looking at something, huh? It's interesting. A little texture error there. Look, I get my health back almost immediately. It's awesome. So as long as a fall doesn't kill me, I get my health back almost at once. Little town of Helvetia, I think. I don't know. I think I've heard Helvetia and Helvetia. I don't remember which one is right. little campsite over here. Oh man, that um, Protectron is having a bad day. <laughs> Pretty cool. Get my steel scrap from these guys. Yeah, a little campsite here that I don't think I've ever really noticed before. Kind of fun. Insta mash, autopsy board game. Looks like oh, a baseball glove. Somebody playing some baseball here. Sounds like fun. Some apples, moldy food. Ooh, potato crisps, and uh, I do believe that's purified water. If I can get to it. Purified water, always nice to have. There's some binoculars. Cane. 
Yeah, cute little um, campsite here. See, up the hill there is uh, Arctos Pharma. Scary things go on in there. I haven't seen anything new showing up on my compass, so I guess there's nothing new in this part of the world. Yeah, we don't want to go in there. I don't like that place. Sound effects are so nice. Hear that wind whipping? What is this? Just some rocks? Okay. And yeah, just some just some square rocks. Looked like something was laying there when I walked past it. Okay, we're getting close. This gully mine exit that is new, I believe. Maybe finally find Crane's treasure. Calling mine exits. So, as a refresher, Duchess said she's willing to tell me what she knows about Crane and his treasure. I just need to follow her. Does that mean she's going to be in here? I thought I heard something. Find Crane's treasure. I mean, is that what we're going to do here? Are we actually going to find his treasure? Only one way to find out. Let's go inside. This is all very exciting. Something's walking around down here. Some cool machinery over here. Uh, boy, mole rat. Hello. How many times do I have to hit you in your head? Hello? I don't know, this place is kind of a mess. Get us some meat. Could be dinner later. Oh my. Corpse, a scorch corpse. Lots of scorch going on down here. Oh crap. Oh gosh. Looks like what I'm looking for is in that direction. Oh man, that's a lot of scorch. Huh. I think I remember this place. That exit to new though. Hmm. Somebody's shooting down here. Another oh, scorchy. Pretty high level scorch right there. It is us. We are it. It is us, we are it. What? I know, right? What? Hey, stop it. The mini is scorched down here. You ain't got nothing. Yeah, this is, um... Hmm, interesting. Where am I going? This direction? Oh, right here. Oh, here's this. So here's this place again. Anybody remember the keypad code? Yeah, I need to remember it. Search the room for the cage code. Well, I actually found it last time we were in here. Oh, man. Did a vending machine bust open over here? Yeah, here we go. Here's the code. So it is 071990. 
0 7 1 9 9 0 Okay, and remember we've been in here before. We came in here earlier when we were looking for uh, There's two people. I don't remember their names. The robot and the dude. Duchess's people. Okay. Robco Auto Cash number one. So did she give me this key card to get in here? I don't remember. I'm guessing maybe she did. Oh, this is what was on um, the body of um, that scorched that crane. This was on Crane's body, right? I'm guessing. Look at this place. Whoa. Robco staff only. Your presence has been logged by Robco security. There's a barred door there. Oh man, I really want that Nuka Cherry. Listen to that sound, the hum of who knows what, some kind of machinery or something. Oh, we got a, a roachy roach in here. Baseball down here. Overgrown glowing ants. That's kind of scary. Gross. What in the world am I going to find down here? Oh my gosh. on the ground. This looks like... I don't know. I don't know what's going on down here. It doesn't look pleasant, though. It's disgusting. Ooh, office desk fan. Well, it looks like radioactive barrels, but they're not acting radioactive. Meaning I'm not gaining any rads. What in the world? Oh, there's a terminal over here. Big old button on the wall. Three easy steps to access the Robco Auto Cache. The sign in front of you appears to indicate how to enter the cache. Register your pit boy with the terminal in this room. Stand inside the circle in front of the cache door. Stride, aside, stride inside. Okay. All right, let's do exactly that. A repository as smart as you. Test flyer number 011 version 1. The insert final name. Any dolt can build a vault. You want a repository as smart as you. Robco's patented technology grants you access to your personal insert final name at a whim. Let your Robco Pip-Boy 2000 be your key. Access any time. Order yours today. Coming insert date. So Robco was trying to create a competitor to vault Tex Vault, maybe? It's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? Might as well take it with us. Why not? Big old ant down there. So... Here is a cache control room key. I could use the control room key to unlock it. <laughs> okay, um, what do I need the terminal for? I guess that's not the cache then, huh? Alright, let's um, go ahead and register with this thing, I guess. Password required. Cast. No likenesses. Shut. Nope. Dean. Could be. Two likenesses. Fend. Nope. Than. Could be than. Uh, Robco Experimental Auto Cache. Welcome text. Title line. George, house is shutting down the Auto Cache project. Please wipe this before they seal the place. I hope you're happy. K. Welcome message here. 
Register pit point device. Tour guide walkthrough. I don't know. Tour guide walkthrough. For internal Robco use only. George. They're moving up the first tour. I know you said it'd take six months. We've got two weeks. Here are my notes for the tour. I left more in the cache for priority fixes. Clean them all up before the guests arrive. Get it done, K. Ten steps to sales. Prior to customer arrival, register your pit boy with this terminal using selection on the previous screen. Do this first. It's the only way to shut off the security. Legal will skin us if we turn in more injury forms. And then that's more injury forms. <laughs> okay. To approach the customer with a friendly but firm handshake. Three, lead the customer to the entrance and run through the included Robco AutoCache introduction script. Four, position yourself inside the scan ring in front of the cache entrance. Five, present registered Pip-Boy toward the patented Robco Easy Access I. Just have them stand still inside the ring. It's not rocket science. K. Six, proceed inside the cache. Seven, run through the included AutoCache tour script. Eight, proceed to Robco Mega Dispenser. Nine, give customer a dispenser token and request they deposit it in the slot of their choice. We've only got one token. Left it on the podium in the showroom. Do not lose it. K. Ten, escort the customer out with their very own keepsake while reciting the Robco Cash customiz customiz Why am I having trouble with that word? Customizability script. House will take any reason to shutter us once the resources for something personal. This tour needs to sparkle, George. Left some sparkle under the desk. Don't mess this up. K. File removed. Supply cache intro tour script or intro script. Volume 26. Supply cache tour script V92 and supply cache customized script V18. And register pip boy device. Pip boy. Detected. Registration complete. Countermeasures disabled. You may now present Pip Boy at access point. Okay. Alrighty. So he said he left something under a desk, like extra something? Um. The, to the tokens on the podium in the showroom left some sparkle under the desk. Well, what desk? It's a lot of desks. A lot of desks. So I'm not sure what he means by the desk. It's a desk over here. Is this the desk? I don't know. I don't see anything. Hey, how's it going? Come here. Come here. What was that sound? Oh. Alright. I guess we're going in. Oh, it looks like they had a big party here. I'm supposed to find a um, token on a podium, and then there was talk about something under a desk. Uh, looks like I'm hungry, so let's stop and eat something here real quick. Let's try some... Um, well, all that fever blossom's going to go bad because I don't know what to do with it. Okay, duct tape. That's always good to find. So I think it looked like this kept going here, maybe. Holy hell! Okay, this is where we came in. So I came in this way. Yeah, I went around this way first. Okay, so now we've just come back this way. Interesting. All right. So had I gone this way first, I probably would have found some doors I couldn't go through yet. So I still don't know 
where this podium is or where this desk is maybe they're inside of the vault itself hope the door doesn't shut behind me uh ref refresh refreshments on demand cream vodka juice beer wine There's some money sitting over here. Syringer ammo, more money. This place is kind of a dump. It's not very sparkly, I'm here to tell you right now. Waste handling. Okay. Robco at your service. What's this stuff? Rat poison. Caps. Um, yeesh. Economic security piles of cash. Okay. That's how they show economic security. There's a platform here with a door. We'll go in there in a minute. Because there was another way to go out here, wasn't there? No? Okay, for some reason I thought that there was a uh, another way to go to our right here. Okay, guess not. Okay, so let's go up here. Reliable HVAC, okay. Exits. Order yours today. Yeah, that's um Test Flyer 019 version 4. The insert final name. Like what you see? Then order your fully customizable insert final name today. All sales inquiries can be placed with a sales with sales specialist insert sales POS. Um, financing is available. Make the the future yours with Robco coming on this date. Okay, still don't know what this extra sparkle was. I mean, it may, maybe it was just words. I don't know. We're not going to go out yet because we haven't really seen the whole place yet. Gosh, there's piles of cash laying around all over the place. Fresh food. Add food here. Test flyer number 021B. George, we're working with preserved stuffs here, so it needs to be stacked meticulously. Think window display at Gray and Goulds. Food's cheap, get as much as we can afford and build from there. Okay. And the only thing that's left is one box of Fancy Lad snack cakes. Personal security. Here's another note. Add weapons here. <laughs> George weapons section, nothing too fancy here. Protester scarers. Protester scarers? Alright. I mean, there's some weapons there. I'm not interested in them. Data storage. <laughs> File cabinets. Treasury bonds. Test flyer 018. The insert final name. Like your investment safe? Then secure your future with a insert final name system. Built to order, each insert final name is the perfect balance of security, convenience, and frugality. Access any time of the day or night without meddlesome and high-maintenance human guards. Order yours today, coming on this date. Well, I need to end this episode here. Um, when we come back next time, uh, we'll see where the game puts me. And um, we will uh, continue exploring this place. So I, I don't want to rush through it, but I do need to stop here. Uh, add crates here. George, fill this area with the fanciest crates we can afford. Something that looks like a Hornwright store would, would, would their jewels in it. Should scream, I have enough money. I need to hide it from my employees. Okay. All right. Well... 
like I said, I'm <laughs> going to have to end it here. We'll come back next time. Uh, I'll try to get back down here and we'll pick up uh, where we left off. As always, I thank you guys for joining me. Hope you had fun. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.